In this video, we will talk about singular value decomposition and its uh, applications in MIMO based uh, systems. So, in many applications such as adaptive filtering, adaptive beamforming, the received signals are stored in a matrix form. And SVD is a linear algebraic technique that is uh, used to extract useful information from those uh, matrices. And those uh, useful informations are used uh, for further processing in the receiver chain. Goal of this uh, presentation is divided into two parts. First part uh, we will introduce the underlying matrix algebra which is used for the SVD and then we will look into the uh, SVD with uh, an example. Okay, so before going into the details of the singular value decomposition, uh, we need to understand the meaning of the uh, matrix vector multiplication. So let's see this uh, with an example in the octave. So here I have an octave code where uh, I have defined a matrix and a, a vector and I'm multiplying them. This is case one. In the case two, I'm multiplying a scalar value with the vector and the uh, result is in C here. And uh, in the case three, I have a spatial matrix uh, which is defined like this. And the elements of the matrix are cos 90, minus sin 90, sin 90 and uh, cos 90. And there is another vector z which is multiplied by this matrix stored in D. Then I am plotting each case the resultant vector and the original vector. So let's see what happens if we run this script. Okay. So, as we can see, this is the uh, result of the first uh, case and in this case, we can see this uh, red line is the original vector and uh, this uh, blue line is the resultant vector. And what this matrix did to this vector, it actually rotated it this by some angle and also stretched it by some amount. In the second case where we multiplied a vector by scalar, it there was no rotation but the vector is stretched by some amount. In the third special case, uh, we see that uh, the original vector is uh, rotated by 90 degree. This angle between red line and uh, blue line is 90 degree. We can verify it if it actually 90 degree or not. Okay. Yes, so this is 90 degree. So this special matrix called rotational matrix and the, the amount by which this matrix will rotate vector is defined here. So if I want to rotate uh, any vector by some amount theta, uh, the value will be given here. Okay. So we can conclude that uh, matrix vector multiplication is a kind of transformation where we input the vector to a matrix and matrix transforms it into uh, another vector which is a result of a rotation or scaling. And this scaling can be either uniform or non-uniform means each element of the vector can be uniformly scaled or non-uniformly scaled. Similarly, the rotation can be clockwise or anti-clockwise and there can be combination of both means scaling and uh, uh, rotation both uh, will be the result of the matrix vector multiplication in some cases. Now let's discuss about the SVD itself what SVD is? SVD is based on a theorem that says any matrix can be decomposed into three different uh, matrices 
For example, if I have a matrix of dimension m cross n, it can be decomposed into uh, three matrices. Let's call first matrix as U, the middle matrix as uh, D, and last matrix as V. Then U is of dimension m cross k, the D is diamond D is of the dimension k cross k, and V is of the dimension k cross n. Some of the properties of the um, these matrices are interesting. First of all, U is a U has a orthonormal uh, columns, which means if you take two columns and multiply them pointwise, the, the result will be zero. The middle matrix is a diagonal matrix, so uh, the values in the diagonal are called uh, singular values of the matrix. And these are arranged from the largest to smallest. The last matrix is also orthonormal uh, matrix. So let's uh, see this with an example. Okay, so I have a uh, another octave code here. Uh, where I am defining a matrix H and uh, one vector X. Uh, take calculating the SVD of the uh, matrix, which will decompose it into three different matrices U, S, and V. Then I am multiplying the V with the vector X to see what happens. And similarly, I am multiplying the vector with the U transpose and seeing. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, in also the third case I am multiplying the vector with the diagonal of the diagonal elements of the matrix S. So let's run this script and see what happens. Okay. So this plot is result of the first calculation v multiplied by x the red line is original vector and the blue line is the resultant uh, vector and we can see that uh, this multiplication has rotated the vector by some angle similarly u transpose um, x also results in a rotation but uh, when we multiply the diagonal elements of the uh, S to the vector X, then the result is not rotation but a scaling or a stretching. So the, the components of this uh, decomposition is uh, actually related to the linear transformation which can be broken down into three steps. First, rotate, then stretch or scale and third again another rotation so these are uh, the fundamental properties of the singular value decomposition the another important property to understand uh, is the dimensionality reduction so let's see uh, i have matrix x here and i'm calculating the svd of this so Let's calculate. Yeah. So now it will give me U, which is a uh, orthonormal, uh, which means if I multiply this column, first column, with the second column, the result will be zero. Or I take any column of this matrix and multiply with the other column, the result will be zero and then it will give me S which is diagonal uh, matrix as we can see here and then it will give me V which is also orthonormal okay now let's calculate U S V transpose so what it will give let's see yeah, as we can see, this is the original matrix 1, 1, 1, 6, 33, 1, 1, 1, 6, 33, which is this row. Second row is 3, 
2.99 which is this row and uh, then let's see what is the what are the diagonal elements of the s okay so these are the uh, the diagonal elements which are in the uh, decreasing order and one another term is defined as the rank of the matrix which is non zero uh, elements of the diagonals element of the matrix x so in this case what will be the rank of the this matrix the rank of the matrix is 4 because there are four uh, non zero elements in the diagonal of the s so what is dimensionality reduction it is a it says that if i if i reduce the dimension of this matrix s by making the smallest value as 0 and then try to find out the new x which will be u multiplied by new ss new ss has a uh, this particular element as 0 and v transpose then we'll see what we will get as new x so let's run this part of the code okay so we have this new x if we compare this with the x we can see 1 1 1 6 33 and then 2.9 which is 3 and 3 3 7 44 similarly 3.9 4 4 4 8 point nine nine and 55 which is this row and last row is 5 5 5 70 66 which is this row so interestingly if we we have reduced the dimension of this matrix s still we are able to recover the original uh, matrix this is very useful property in even in the communication systems so okay then after this there is another property which is important to understand okay so let's run this part of the code in what is happening in this part of the code i have a sine wave and a cosine uh, a square wave uh, i have added i have mixed those two signals and then added some random noise let's plot it okay so i have this sine wave and this this square wave mixed together with some noise this is original uh, signal without any noise i did not plot z i have plotted sine wave and square wave now let's do one thing uh, calculate the svd of z which is signals combined plus some random noise so and after that let's plot v transpose and see what happens so okay so now as you can see that we are uh, these two plots are similar similar means these are not uh, the the second plot is not exact representation of the signals but those are similar because there is only difference is the of scaling you can see the scaling of the sine wave here and scaling of the sine wave here similarly scaling of the square wave here and scaling of the square wave here is different but otherwise the both the uh, signals are similar so this is another property of the svd we we are able to reconstruct our signal by using the svd this is also another property which will be used in the uh, 
communication systems. Okay, so let's summarize the some of the properties of the SVD. First of all, any uh, matrix A, which is real valued, can be factorized into A uh, U S V transpose, and where U is the orthonormal uh, columns, which means if you calculate U transpose U, you should get an identity matrix. And this we can verify here if I have U and if you transpose i should get identity matrix which is correct and then v is also orthonormal so v transpose is equal to v inverse and s is a diagonal matrix with non-negative singular values and those are by convention given in the sorted order so these are the properties of the uh, svd and in the next session, we will um, discuss about its use in uh, uh, MIMO uh, channel modeling and how to convert the MIMO channel into a parallel channel through the singular value decomposition. Thank you for listening.